What's up everybody, you got Champion. I'm bringing you another Road to Glory video, this time the end of my sophomore season, playing in the national championship game, and guess who, the Rutgers, actually made it to the national championship, so that's who I'm going to be playing, and you know, I was hoping for something a little different, most of the time when I simulate seasons in dynasty mode, I play Alabama, it could 9 out of 10 times, but we'll see how this Rutgers team does, and... For those of you who are curious, I didn't win the Heisman this year. Once again, came in second, and Chris Ponder actually won the Florida State quarterback. It's a great quarterback. Would have loved to have won it, though, and got to, you know, prove these Heisman voters wrong and come out with a bang, a good game, and uh, shaking off a tackle in the backfield and getting a nice 15-yard gain there uh, to start the game. But I want to show those Heisman voters that I'm not just a pretty face. I've got a decent arm. Throw in the uh, streak route. And one of the routes that I've come to love. And kind of my bread and butter of this uh, Oregon team. And I'm throwing a deep one. And a terrible ball. No one was open. I was trying to get rid of it. Probably should have thrown it away. But maybe these Heisman voters were right. But <laughs> I'm not going to give up that easily. And I find my man number 85. Streaking down the field. Give a nice pump fake. And... Here, trying to run the option, it's pretty well defended at uh, number three. Took the outside guy, so there's no pitch man. But I'm going to keep trying. I'm running around here. It's third and long. I need the first. Find the man on the sideline. He makes a great catch. Both feet in bounds. Like I said, he only needs one. But uh, getting Michael James involved a little bit. Still not doing much of anything. And here, <laughs> my wide receiver makes this crazy leap for the end zone and gets in there. My first touchdown of the game, but... Rutgers matches, and I see the uh, cornerback there was playing deep on that route, so ran a hitch, burned the cornerback, but next play around, I get my own, and <laughs> linebacker plays the read option perfectly, and, you know, I take a good hit. So here I have to check down to uh, LaMichael James, my running back. It's third and long. Nothing was open deep. I wasn't ready to throw another interception, so I just check down, get the yards, and punt it away, but... Uh, Rutgers actually answers with a touchdown, and so I gotta find a way to match here. I'm not about to lose to Rutgers in the national championship, especially with this Oregon team, ranked number one. And after last year's fiasco of going undefeated, not making the national championship, I gotta capitalize here. And a really wacky play, you'll see that corner, I think, or safety gets stuck in an animation, which is just stupid. One of the things they have to fix. But that leads to an easy touchdown, and. One I'm not too proud of, and here I run actually what I thought was a pretty good play. I had one corner guarding two guys. I throw it to the inside guy. Apparently my awareness uh, told it to go to the outside shoulder, but I probably would have thrown to the inside if I had a choice. we got to continue running plays here. And I'm running around the outside. Defensive end gets sucked in, and uh, the linebacker gets stuck on a corner in coverage. So I end up with a pretty wide open uh, running lane. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I'm establishing the run, and I th think I can get a little bit something more here. But that star linebacker showing that even when he's in coverage, he's a threat to hit me on the run. And after getting bumped, number 15 takes the outside, breaks one tackle, then races down the sideline. Gets a really solid gain. And I see the left side of the field open up huge here. One of the great things about running those streaks, <laughs> I thought I could dive it in. Didn't get the animation I wanted. Sometimes when you're around the corner, he does this like sweet dive where he jumps over 10 people. Didn't happen, so I just end up running it in for a one-yard gain. And finally, Michael on the outside here. Uh, I think he's got a linebacker in coverage, so pretty huge mismatch considering his LaMichael's speed. So I give him a chance to run, and he does what he always does in this game. That's just run left to right and break zero tackles. But here I'm showing him how it's done, throwing a six spin move, make the contact and spin off, and another great run, establishing the run huge in this game, and checking down to a lot of wide open tight ends and running backs, and abusing this uh, weak linebacking core, not necessarily that it's weak, but they're just in a lot of mismatches, especially with LaMichael James. You see again here, he's wide open. And it seems like this might be the trick to get LaMichael James in space, is just finding him on these routes. and. Throw a really risky pass up here. He had a little bit of position. The cornerback hadn't even turned around. Gets stuck at the one. And uh, I was trying to decide if I wanted to take it in or give it to LaMichael. I give it to LaMichael. 
because he's a 99 overall or something like that and he should at least get a touchdown in the national championship game then the next play he gets caught from behind by a lineman uh, I guess can't blame him too much but I see a man wide open deep number 82 I don't know if he didn't have the speed but he beat the man and I just didn't throw a good enough pass I guess I don't even know what else, how else to explain that but he had the man beat and just didn't make the play and running a little bit of wildcat here with little Michael and really do not do a good job blocking and pick up that star linebacker late but uh, yeah but get a five yard gain which isn't too bad and once again the under routes continuing to be open I find my man number 15 continues to be everywhere on the field being a little bit quieter this game but still having a couple of great catches my right guard there just destroys a couple of people Fortunately, when Michael runs right into one of the guys he blocked, and there's a holding, so that play gets negated. That right guard's great play, overshadowed by a wide receiver holding, and here just trying to get it close to the first down marker so we can execute what we've been doing so well all game, and that's me getting around the outside, freezing up the linebackers, and finding another underneath route with the wide receiver, this time to number 82. Makes a great catch and a pretty good job getting up field right after he makes the catch and running an option here trying to do a six spin move nothing doing got jacked up by the linebacker and the linebackers continue to make great plays especially in the run they haven't done too well in the past but in the run game they have been very successful in uh, containing Michael James and myself even though I've gotten a couple of big runs it might have more to do with the defensive line not holding contain specifically the defensive ends but with the game pretty much out of reach I'm trying to prove these Heisman voters wrong throw a sweet spin move and then race down the field Shane Falco has my Heisman vote unfortunately my vote does not matter <laughs> but continuing to try to make a statement <laughs> getting pressure from the backside and then making the run unfortunately cannot outrun that linebacker seems to have a hundred speed because I could not run him with 99 and continue to make pretty good plays on the ground here at least you know enough to pick up the first downs and I'm still trying to go deep a little bit but this Rutgers D is not having it and they bring a corner I think on a blitz and you know catch me off guard but then I return the favor, absolutely abusing that star linebacker, and then trying to go for a hurdle, but then getting get just murdered. And, you know, I've been trying to do that all year. Every time I've just been destroyed. And here, you know, this may be the reason I didn't win the Heisman. You know, I'm not able to hold on to the balls and too many turnovers. Something I'm going to try to cut down on next year when I'm a junior. And next year will probably be my last year. And we do end up winning this national championship. And for the first time, and having some pretty gaudy numbers, 326 passing yards, 235 rushing yards, and hopefully that'll be enough to get me at least at the top of the Heisman list at the beginning of the year, and hope you enjoyed this video. See ya!